Seattle looking to win its fourth consecutive NFC West crown. St. Louis was the team that was supposed to challenge them for it. Uh, Not going to happen this year, but hey, they could challenge them in this game because they have won two in a row. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Owens, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Six and four, Seattle, two and eight, St. Louis. And uh, well, let's start with the Seahawks here sure. because when I watch Matt Hasselbeck play, I think he's having the best year of his career. He's having a terrific year right now, and here's what you see with Matt. Great decision-making, fast decision-making, and great distribution of the ball. Not a lot of great receivers. Reminds me more of how the Patriots were in Brady's first few Super Bowls. A lot of good players going down the field, understand the West Coast offense, a lot of crossing routes, and a lot of balls being thrown to guys that can on the run so they don't have to lean back to catch a pass. That's so critical in the West Coast offense because they're looking for the yak, yards after catch all the time, and they're getting it. And for the most part this season, the last couple of weeks he's had uh, some rushing ability from Maurice Morris, but for the most part this season, he's done it without a rushing attack. Now, Maurice Morris, we talked about it last yes. week, the, the, the burst that Sean Alexander doesn't have. Is that enough to carry this team? Yeah, you look at Maurice Morris, and I think, you know, he's, is he a great player? No. Is he a good player and serviceable for this offense? Absolutely. A lot of cutback running, a lot of bursts at the line of scrimmage. He has 187 yards on the ground the last two weeks, and that's just enough to set up what they really want to do. It's the short passing attack off play action. Meanwhile, the running back for St. Louis certainly is a fantastic player, and he's healthy. Tremendous player. Steven Jackson, he was not uh, in the game at Seattle when they lost 33-6. What is his impact in this game? Well, Steven Jackson will have a big impact, and he always has against Seattle. In the last four times St. Louis has played Seattle, Mr. Jackson has averaged 120 yards on the ground. So that's what you're expecting, and I expect no less from him. Although he's up against a defense that fortified itself in the offseason, we saw Patrick Kearney come through with great pass rush last week. If Patrick plays the run as well as he plays the pass, look for the run in the game to go right at Darryl Tapp. Undersized pass rusher, that'll be the inviting side to go after. It's a rematch game, and I know you love rematch games because you, a lot of times you feel teams get payback, and they usually do. Right. Let's see what the computer thinks. Remember, Seattle won the first one 10,000 times. It's the AccuScore prediction, all mathematical elements. Here's what it has. They don't think the Rams are going to get revenge. 68% of the time, the Seahawks on computer go out and win. Uh, remember, this is all mathematics, though, so that's part of the reason why the computer will have the Seahawks win. Pat? You're not a math mathematician no, here. What I'm do you not, like? But I, and, and I like um, my hats off to you Rams that have got your two-game winning streak. And you are a much better team with everybody healthy, but you're not healthy enough to beat Seattle. The game will be a lot closer than the first time, but I see Seattle coming in. And Matt Hasselback's playing terrific. They get, get themselves a win because they'll put up about 27 points on the St. Louis Ram defense, which isn't really very good. No, it's not very good at all. And we saw how bad it was in the fourth quarter against New Orleans. Correct. But they were good enough to hang out for that first win. That was two weeks ago. This two, These two teams kick it off at 1 p.m. Eastern. For more on this one or any other in Week 12, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care. Take care.